Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a tutorial on some sort of rainbow makeup look. I'm just going to experiment. This is going to be really chatty, casual sort of video. So it's not going to be like my usual tutorials where I do a voiceover and everything's really fancy. As fancy as I can get. I mean, come on, I'm not a professional. So I'm filming a rainbow look specifically because of my decision to vote yes to gay marriage. So it's not it was not a hard decision at all. Um, I don't even know why we're having a vote. Um, for those of you overseas, Australia is having a plebiscite, I believe. I, I'd never even heard that term until this actually happened, but it's where we all vote on whether we think gay marriage should be legalized in Australia. It's still not. I don't know why it isn't, because it's really ridiculous that we are voting on what I believe is a basic human right. You should be able to marry whoever you want. And I personally don't even want to get married myself until gay marriage is legal. So I just think everyone should have the same rights. Okay, so I have been looking at photos of rainbow makeup and I've just sort of wanted to do my own thing, wing it a little bit. So I'm going to start off just doing the eyes. I think they're going to be a focal point of this look. So I am not doing any foundation just yet. I'm just going to do the eyes first because it's going to get messy. Okay, so I'm starting off with this crazy rainbow palette from BH Cosmetics. So I'm going to start off, I think, with a bit of a yellow to like red, pink gradient on the top and then like a blue, green, violet sort of gradient on the bottom. That's what I'm seeing in my head. Let's see if it turns out. So let's get started. Okay, and look, I haven't cleaned my brushes in a long time. I probably should clean my brushes. You know what? There's no time for that. Okay, so I think this is the cleanest brush I'm going to find. So <laughs> I really need to clean my brushes. Um, so this is the Body Shop's, um, what is it? Just, just called an eyeshadow blender. So I'm going to start off with something really vibrant. Um, what I might do is I might just prime my eyes first so that the colour really pops. So I'm going to use Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm just going to pop that all over my eyes. I've got a weird thing about not really liking to apply a liquid product straight to my eyes from the tube because it spreads bacteria, but I just couldn't be bothered putting it on a cotton tip. <laughs> I'm just lazy. I'm just gonna get that all across my eye. Do you guys like my little cat ears? I bought them from Kmart. They were like $5 for two pairs. So I bought this little cute pair. And my hair's really like faded out now. It's almost like a pink instead of a purple. But I think I'm going to get an ombre blonde sort of look soon. Okay, eyelids primed. Now I'm also going to be adding, and this looks really gross because this is a little bit old, but it's the NYX Milk Pencil. Now, the Jumbo Eye Pencil. So I'm just going to put this all over my eyes because I really want every single colour that I put on to pop. I'm sorry if you guys can hear weird noises. My neighbours, I think they have a newborn baby. And all you hear is like strange gurgling and crying noises. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Oh, that's attractive. I'm going to put it on the other eye as well. I found with like combining this and the primer potion, I know it looks really ridiculous now, but it r does really help in terms of getting your eyeshadow to stay and stick to your eye. And it looks just that like little bit more vibrant because you're putting it on a white base rather than um, your skin color. So. This is one of their like crazy huge um, BH Cosmetics palettes, they're 120 colours. So I'm just going to use the brightest yellow shade that I can find and I'm just going to start that off in the inner corners of my eyes. And what I'm doing to apply that is just going with little tapping motions. Because I really want that colour to pop. And I'm not really being worried about how messy I'm being because we're going to clean it all up later. I'm just going to really get that 
right into the inner corner. I might zoom in for you guys while I'm doing the eyes so you can see what I'm doing a little bit clearer. Is that a little bit better? So we'll keep zoomed in while we're doing the eyes. I'm just really packing that in there. I'm going to go pretty high because I think I'm going to do like yellow, orange, red and like purple, pink. I look so crazy. <laughs> I'm taking it like fairly high up the brow bone. I've got hooded eyes, so a lot of eyeshadow gets completely, um, it, it completely disappears when I look at you directly. See how I don't have a lot of lid space? So it's going to be quite high. And I've gone quite far into the inner corner there. Just cause. Just cause. How are you guys going? Tell me in the comments what you are up to. Tell me your opinions on the gay marriage vote if you're in Australia. I welcome all opinions, even if I don't agree. I like discussions and debates. Okay, now I'm going to go for an orange shade. What color orange do I want? Oh, this one looks good. This is like the brightest orange shade in the palette. I don't know if it's going to be a mistake using the same brush, but I really want it to gradient out. So we're just going to blend over the top. And see what I mean about hooded eyes? So like, see when I look down, you can see a lot of eyeshadow, but as soon as I look directly at you, boom, it appears. <laughs> so we're going to go quite high. We really just want to get that all, I'm being super light with my touch and getting that to feather in. You don't want to blend too much because what I will do is go back with a um, clean brush and blend then. So I am keeping the lines sort of semi blended, but I'm going to do my blending later. So it might look a little bit choppy at first. So that's the orange. Let's do the other eye. And I'm literally just doing the same thing where I'm like more tapping it on. These eyeshadows are so good. They're so pigmented and they're so affordable. I think this palette cost me $15. So I'm a big lover of BH Cosmetics. <laughs> okay, there's the orange. God, the orange really pops there. Eh? Yeah, let's go like a bright pink. I just swatched like two shades of eyeshadow and I really cannot tell a difference in colour. I think the ring light is making me blind, I swear to god. <laughs> How good are ring lights for your eyes? Does anybody know? I've often wondered that because it's so bright. I mean it's LED. How good is it for you? <laughs> that is my question. Okay, so I'm going for like quite a bright pink. Oh, fuck it, let's just go really bright. Oh, wow. Well. well, I said I wanted to go bright. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Do you guys have that thing where if you're really concentrating on something, it's really hard to talk? Like when you do makeup. Oh, that's so pigmented and see how I've got a lot of fallout underneath my eyes. This is why I wanted to do my foundation last so I could clean up underneath. It's kind of imperative when you're doing a crazy colourful look or a really smoky eye that you do your eyes first. Okay, now we go into the purple. What purple do I want to use? I think I'll use a fairly dark purple for the outer corners. I think I want to get a little bit darker towards the outer edge. So let's choose this shade. Hopefully this is not a mistake. No, that's cute. Um, I'm just going to get, I have no cardboard, but <laughs> using an eyelash. Oh dear, this is so profesh. And you want to get the angle like towards the end of your eyebrow. This is just to create that winged eye look. That's cool. 
Okay, on the other side, this is the thing too, getting the angle like the exact same. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty funky. Pretty, pretty funky. Now I think we want to blend out a little bit because it's looking pretty cray. Okay, so I'm going to be blending each section. So I'm just going to start off here. Let me just blend this out into each other just slightly. So I'm going to do the same for the side, seeing as we have the same color on the brush. And don't be worried to like blend up to your eyebrows because we're going to clean them up in a moment. This is all just about fun. And see how that's all blended compared to that one? I'll just blend this side. I'm not touching too much of the colour, I'm just literally blending where they meet, the two colours. Then you can blend it into each other and it looks a bit strange. Okay, time for the darker colour. Let's blend you out, girl. I'm just going to get a different brush, this one's getting a bit dirty. <laughs> As with all my brushes. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the original brush I was using. I just want to get a little bit of a lighter purple and just really get in here. Just get that a little bit more blended. That's better. And then I think I just want to get another brush and just get that pink a little bit more as well. And then just keep blending. I'm just sort of really trying to get that gradient thing happening. And then I'm going to do the same thing, just go back over with my orange and just really get in there. So I'm sort of just really getting that gradient happening so it all blends sort of seamlessly. Okay, that's pretty good. Ignoring the fallout. <laughs> Let's get back onto the other side. Okay, so I just use a um, face wipe just to clean up underneath. And then we'll do the colours underneath the eye. I'm leaving a little bit of the yellow because I kind of want that to stay. But I'm really like creating this nice clean bit underneath. Perfect. So that's all the fallout all cleaned up. I might just put a bit of the milk on. Okay, nice and prime. Okay, so I'm thinking green to blue back to purple again to connect it all. So let's do some green. Okay, I think I'm gonna go this green. So this is my other BH Cosmetics palette. This is like the Metallics palette. I'm using that green up there. So I'm gonna use that underneath and I'm gonna get a fresh clean brush if I can find one. Because we've established that Emma does not clean her brushes. Okay. This is just a BH Cosmetics brush that I'm using. It's just a teeny tiny one. I'm just gonna take that under my eye. I'm taking it down quite far too. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I think I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna go like a blue. But I think I'm gonna transition with an aqua color. And then that's just from my other palette, just a random shade. It's not too much different from the green. You know what else do that when they put stuff under their eyes, like, <laughs> like the ugly mascara face? Okay, now I'm going to go to blue. That looks pretty cute. This is again from my metallic palette. I'm using... Oh, shit! <laughs> Let's be safe, kids! <laughs> that didn't happen. I'm using um, this shade right, right over here. <laughs> Oh dear, on that note, nearly killed myself. <laughs> you probably noticed that I'm doing like more metallic shades underneath my eyes. 
I don't know why. I just felt like it. It's gonna get a really vibrant blue as well and just go close to the waterline. Just to give it a little bit more depth. And then I just wanna finish it with the purple, I think. I think that would be cute. I'm just really blending out those edges. And then I think I just wanna get a really big brush and just smooth over those sides. So let's pop some foundation on and get that face looking really good. So I'm gonna use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation for this one. Dot there, dot there. I love that they call it Sheer Glow, yet it's like, it's not a glowy foundation at all, it's more matte. Um, but I really like this foundation. I'm just gonna use a buffing brush to buff that in. This is when makeup looks start to look a lot better, <laughs> when you put your base on. Okay, so we've done the face. While I just let my foundation settle, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. So I'm using my BH Cosmetics um, eyebrow palette and I'm just going to use the shade in the middle. This is the Flawless Brow Trio. A lot of my makeup is from BH Cosmetics because it's so affordable. Um, but I just found out MAC does Afterpay and <laughs> it's, still, it's just taking everything in me not to buy everything from MAC. <laughs> Okay, brow time. So I'm doing quite a strong brow because I just thought it would go well with the um, strong eye. I'm gonna just frame that eyeshadow really well. What a difference brows can make. I'm just gonna brush out a little bit here just to make them look a little bit more blended. I'm gonna keep the rest fairly dark though because I just wanted a really strong brow. And then I'm just gonna brush through them with the Maybelline Brow Drama Mascara, Sculpting Brow Mascara. I'm running out, I need a new one. I love this stuff, it really like, makes your eyebrows look like eyebrows, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like if you put on a lot of heavy brow powder, it sort of brushes all the hairs back out and makes them look nice again. And so now what I want to do is I just want to pop on a little bit of concealer under the eyes so that the color really pops. So I'm just going to go here. Okay, so for this I'm just going to use a sponge just to pat it in rather than brush it because you don't want to disturb that under eye makeup. Okay, so I think what I want to do next is just bronze up my skin so that it's not such a stark contrast. I don't think any contouring, I just want to bronze up my skin. So I'm just using the um, Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. And it actually smells like chocolate. So I'm just bronzing up my whole face. There we go, I look less pasty now. Oh yeah, I haven't put powder on yet. I bronzed without powder. Oh well. I might just powder my T-zone. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm just going to do my T zone. There we go. I'm just going to get my bronzing brush back and just put a little bit of more contour back to my nose. I think I might contour my nose just slightly. Because I think a contoured nose looks good with a bright eye. So I'm just going to use the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. And I'm just going to use the lightest shade of the um, contour. I'm going to get a brush like that and just contour down my nose. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend out my contour. That's pretty cool. Now, I wanted to try something out that's a little bit new and different. So I haven't actually tried this yet, but this is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette, and it is um, like the multicolored palette. Yeah, 
just got to get it out of the box. So that's what it looks like. Ooh. And those are all the shades. So see how it's like different colors of highlight? So I just thought I could play that out with the um, rainbow eye. Um, so I think I'm just going to create like a rainbow highlight along my cheeks. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, but I think I'll start with strobe, which is just your basic white highlighter on a fan brush. That's really pretty. And then I'm going to get Electra, which is the yellow. I'm just going to put that underneath the strobe. I'm literally going to use all of them. <laughs> then I'm going to use laser, which is like the top middle one. I'm going to be glowing. Then I'm going to use illusion, which is like the baby pink. And then I think I'm going to use queen, which is the blue. <laughs> So I'm pretty, oh wow, <laughs> so I'm pretty highlighted, I'm just going to take it up along here, holy crap, that's glowing, goodness, <sighs> then there's On Point which is like a darker pink, so I think I might use that as like a blush colour and really like be like super highlighted. Goodness gracious, look at that, that's gorgeous. And then I'm just going to sort of blend that out with my big brush. But yeah, I just wanted to add that just for fun. <laughs> um, now I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm just going to do a little bit of an eyeliner situation, liquid liner. <laughs> so I'm just going to create like a tiny bit of a a line, nothing too dramatic, but I just wanted to go um, on so I can put lashes on that are quite dramatic, so they look a little bit more like blended in. So this is just the Rimmel um, Exaggerate Eyeliner, and it's one of these types. So I'm just going to go in and draw. That just gives that eye like that little bit more dimension. Um, and then I'm going to put lashes on. So I haven't been super neat or anything because I'm going to go back over it when I put the lashes on. As I said, I'm not being super neat for now because I'm going to do the lashes and then I'm going to go ahead and touch up the liner again. So I'm just going to do my bottom lash mascara. And this is just the Maybelline Full and Soft. Okay, so that's the bottom lashes done. And then I'm just going to put a light coat on the top. Now I'm going to try out some new lashes. These are the BH Cosmetics. This is like a BH Cosmetics video. I swear they're not sponsoring me. I have affiliate links, but they're not sponsoring me. Um, so those are the lashes. These are number D301. Um, and they just look really wispy and cute. So I'll give them a go. Oh, there goes the glue. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna use the, their own glue anyway. I'm gonna use the duo. Um, that one okay so I just put a light bit of glue on these lashes waiting for eyelash glue forever waiting wow these are cool <laughs> perfect for my dramatic look they are such cute lashes. Forever waiting for glue. How crazy is it how different lashes make an eye makeup look? Like, look how different that looks. I need to touch up the yellow in the middle of my eye because my eye's been watering. <laughs> okay, so while that's drying, I'm just going to pop the yellow back on on my eye that's missing. That's better. So really all I need to do now is just touch up that liquid liner over the top of my lashes. Oh, 
Okay, so liquid liner complete. I'm just going to brush out these lashes because I got a bit of the liquid liner on there. Okay, so what I think this look needs is actually tight lining my waterline as well. So I'm just going to get a coal pencil from NYX, just the black one, and just do underneath. Well, I think I might put a little bit of glitter on actually. <laughs> Let's get crazy. Um, so I'm just going to get some glitter and just like chuck it a few places. I don't know. I just feel like going a bit wild. I got no adhesive, so I'm just going to use eyelash glue because yellow. So I'm just going to put some glitter under my eye there. That's pretty cute. Mind focus, guys. I don't really know what I'm doing with the glitter, but I just felt like glittering up. <laughs> um, so I gave myself a bit of a weird head thing. I don't think I actually like the glitter on the head, so I might just remove it. Okay, so I've removed the majority of the glitter off my forehead because it just wasn't working. But I don't mind that there's like still a little bit of dregs. <laughs> just kind of makes it a little bit sparkly. Um, so I'm just going to choose a lip colour. I don't know what lip colour to go for. I'm thinking like something fairly neutral. I might go for this like dark nude colour. Hmm. Maybe something a bit more pinky. Let's try this one. Yeah, this is what I want. So this is Andorra, which is a liquid lipstick from BH Cosmetics again. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with the lip brush just to tidy it up. Okay, and there are the lips. I purposely um, overlined them. I just felt like a big fat lip. I'm going to take this off because this is hurting my hair. They're actually quite tight. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different sort of chatty makeup tutorial, fun chat with each other rather than the usual voiceover that I normally do. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought I would find it difficult, but it's been quite fun. Thank you guys so much for returning to my channel. If you really liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. Love you all. Bye.